Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to Doki Doki Literature Club. Um, today's episode is going to be kind of short. I have somewhere to go, but I had to have a video for today, so this episode is probably going to be limited to about half an hour. And if I don't finish the day, I'll just finish that day and the next day in the next episode. So just so you know, hey, here we go. So we're writing another poem. And of course, Monica dislikes everything I write, and apparently she likes me from reference to the last one. So, we're still getting pressure press jury. You know, we're gonna have to choose between the two. Oh, ho, ho. not a bad thing if you ask me. Oh, wow, 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 wow. Let's see if we can't get Nasuki a little happy, happy here today. We'll get him with a boop. Ho, ho. She likes the boop, you know what I'm saying? Pretty sure we got Yuri in that one. But, like, they're not gonna hate me for the rest of it. Oh, man. I haven't, I haven't done my girl voice in a couple days. See if I still got it. Oh, man. I'm the last one here again. Don't worry, I just I just walked in too. Were you practicing piano again? Yeah. <laughs> you must have a lot of determination. You see, cause Monica thinks I think that piano is sexy, but no, I don't. If you can play piano, fantastic. It's just not it's not a requirement. Piano is hard. It's it's not a requirement though. Starting this club, not picking up piano. Well, maybe not determination, but I guess passion. Remember that the club wouldn't be here if it wasn't for all of you. And I'm just super happy you're all willing to help out for the festival too. Ah, I can't wait for the festival. It's gonna be great. Eh? Weren't you complaining about just yesterday, Natsuki? Well, yeah, I'm not talking about our part of the festival, but it's the whole day of school where we get to play and eat all kinds of delicious food. Oh, Natsuki, you crazy ass bitch. <laughs> you're so kawaii. <laughs> You sound a bit like Sayori all of a sudden. Speaking of which, where is she? Monica, don't they usually have fried squid? Squid? That's a pretty specific thing to look forward to. Oh, come on. Aren't you saying you don't like squid? You of all people? Eh, I didn't say I didn't like it. Besides, what do you mean by you of all people? Because! It's right in your name! Mo Mon Ika Ika. Eh? Yeah. Eh? That's not how you say my name at all. Also, that joke makes no sense in translation. Eh? Ah, never mind. Let's just focus on our own event for now, okay? <laughs> fine, fine. Your reactions aren't as fun as Yuri's or Siari's anyway. Excuse me? Where is Siari anyway? Oh, there you are. Siari's sitting at a desk in the corner of the room looking down at nothing. I walk over to her. Hey, Siori. I wave my hand in front of her face. Eh? You're spacing out again. Ah, uh ah. -uh. <laughs> Sorry. Don't mind me. You can just go talk to everyone else. Huh? Is everything alright? Uh, of course. Uh, why wouldn't it be? This feels like you're a little off. Sorry for assuming things. Jeez, don't worry too much about me. I'm fine, see? Siori shows me a big smile. She's not alright. She ain't alright. Don't let me distract you from having fun with everybody. That sounds a hell of a lot like depression, because I'm pretty sure I've said that shit in my past. Well, alright. If you say so. I worry I worriedly glance at Siori before turning back towards everyone else. But the conversation already dispersed, with everyone back to their usual activities. Maybe I should ask Monica if she knows anything about Siori recently. Since they've been preparing for the festival, they must be spending a lot of time together. I timidly approach Monica, who is shuffling through some papers at her desk. I would piss myself, my man. Ryan, what's up? There it is, I just pissed myself. Hey, this might sound a little strange, but have you noticed anything up with Sierra recently? Anything up with her? And what do you mean? In what way do you mean? Maybe I'm reading into a little too much, but she's a bit downcast today. Oh, you think so? I can't say I've noticed anything about her. Monica appears across the room at Sierra, who is idly dragging a rubber eraser up and down her desk. Maybe there's something on her mind. But I'm surprised not the only one asking you, Ryan. You certainly know her a lot better than I do. Yeah, but she never really, she's never really like this. She's always talked to me about things that bothered her. But this time when I asked her, she's really dismissive. Sorry, I know it's not your problem. But that's, I'm sorry, I know it's not your problem! Just wanted to ask if you knew anything, so I'll drop it now. No, no, no. It's important to me, too. I mean, I'm also friends with her. And you care for the well-being of my club members, you know? Maybe I'll try to talk to her myself. Eh? Sure about that? She seemed like she wanted to be left alone. Are you sure? 
Maybe she's had a hard time bringing it up to, with a person of interest. Person of interest? What do you mean by that? I'm saying that maybe the thing on her mind is you, Ryan. Me? How on earth would you come to that conclusion? Well, I probably shouldn't say too much, but Sarah talks about you more than anything else, you know. Eh? Uh, she's been so much happier since you joined the club. It's like an extra light is turned on inside her. What? No way. Sarah is always like that. She's always been full of sunshine. It's not any different now than it always has been. <laughs> You're so funny, Ryan. Have you thought that maybe you've always seen her as so cheerful because that's how she is when she's around you? Uh, ah, I said too much. I'm sorry. What do, you, what do I know anyway? I didn't mean to draw conclusions, so you should just forget what I, about what I said. I'll try to talk to her, so try not to think about it for now. Ah, alright. Monica smiles meaningfully. I know she said to forget about it, but I already know I won't be able to go along with her words out of my head. Monica stands up for her desk and walks across the room where Siori is sitting. I watch her kneel down next to Siori and gently talk to her. But she's keeping her voice so quiet that I can't hear her from here. I sigh and sit myself down. I know Siori told me to worry about her and to have fun with everyone else, but that's impossible to do when she's behaving like this. Exactly how much do I care about her? I, that's That I'm letting this weigh me down so much. Now it feels like I'm the only one behaving out of the ordinary. But there's nothing to do besides wait for Monica. Why does it feel like I'm being watched? I glance around the room. Suddenly I notice Yuri peering at me from over a book. She looks away just as quickly with a flustered look on her face. I realize that she won't be getting anywhere like this. She won't get anywhere like this. I've never really seen Yuri approach anyone and start a conversation on her own accord. So I have no choice but to approach her myself. Now it's a little easier for me to do that. I stand in front of her desk and sit next to her own. I didn't mean to bother you or anything. Relax. You didn't even do anything. But I could tell you that you wanted to be alone with your thoughts. Alone with my thoughts? How are you even going to tell that while I was thinking that? Wow, that was not English from me. My bad. Well, it's something that I do a lot. So if it wasn't hard for me to spot based on your posture and expression. No, 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 that I was staring or anything. Jamie, you can't watch my broadcast. Not now, my mans. No. Go away, Jamie. No. I didn't do anything creepy like that. In any case, I guess you were right. I'm sorry if I caused you any concern. What the heck? Jamie. Welcome to Steam Broadcast. You don't watch other players broadcast your own games. What? Uh, sure. What's going on, Jamie? You are watching the broadcast. Getting spoilers, Jamie. I'm sorry if I caused you any concern. Don't apologize. Your troubles are the only concern of those willing to share in that concern. Of course, there are certain those who find more comfort in keeping to themselves. But if you prefer to share what's in your mind, then I'd be glad to listen. Ah, that's really not that big of a deal. I was just feeling a bit uneasy about Siori. Siori? Yeah, she seems a little bit off today, but when I asked her about it, she didn't want to admit it to me. So I can't help but wonder if something happened to her. Oh, that's quite romantic. Eh? So sorry! Hey, Jamie, you're watching the broadcast. <laughs> What's poppin'? I didn't mean to say something stupid. It's not that. I didn't want you to misunderstand. I didn't want you to misunderstand. Sierra and I have just been friends for a long time, that's all. Ah, I see. Then perhaps it's unusual for her to be dismissive to you about her feelings. Or maybe I'm just reading into it a little too much? Brian. The world is full of meaning, often hidden deep beneath plain sight. And there's many untold mysteries behind every person, no matter how, how well you know them. Well, I'm, I'm bad with my English today, folks. Ah. So you think there might be something behind it after all? Mmm. I think that Siori is a very complex person. Her mannerisms on the outside don't always match what may be going on inside her head. And she may not always know what she what she wants. I know it's her strange behavior today, too. I also feel some concern for her. But in your case, it looks like she was fully occupying your thoughts, wasn't she? Well, I guess that was the case. Sayori. She really m means a lot to you, doesn't she? Not as much as you, baby! Come on! I, I guess. But you don't need to put it that way. We're just good friends, that's all. Eh? Yuri suddenly looks deeply into my eyes. We bout a bang! Her expression is gentle and curious as she is searching for something. 
Embarrassed, I avert my gaze. Sometimes, a person's mysteries are untold even to themselves. And you, as someone honest and caring, may uncover feelings you weren't always aware were in you. That, that is, I think that. She would be a very fortunate person to have you feel that way about her. Yuri, you're giving me too much credit. I'm a pretty simple guy. So I think I'm pretty good at understanding my own feelings. I'm not nearly so sophisticated as you. Ah, that's not a compliment, is it? It is what it is. Anyway, as long as we're here, why don't we do some reading? Well, as long as you're okay with it. Yeah, I should be taking my mind off this whole thing anyway. Okay, everyone! After some time passes, Monica calls out to the club room. Why won't we share our poems now? Before I know it, everything is back to normal. Everyone goes to retrieve their poems, and I do the same. I make eye contact with Monica, and she smiles at me. I wonder what she was talking about with Siori. You always gotta start with Sayar with Yuri. Jame, are you still watching? Probably. Brian, your writing has only improved in the last few days. Every poem you show me has been nothing short of spectacular. I can really feel the emotions. I'm a little envious, even. I don't think it even came to me this naturally. Yuri, that's the wrong way to put it. It's never did come naturally to me. But I've been able to improve so much thanks to you. You're really the example I was chasing after. Yeah, is that so? Yuri gently smiles to herself. This feeling... I'm so glad I got the chance to share my writing. I never thought I would feel like this. I remember you mentioning that yesterday. I can't believe that you're so good at something you never even shared with anyone. My bad. It's kind of a shame. Maybe, but... I gotta make sure I'm still recording. Okay, maybe, but it's not like I really had a choice. What do you mean? Well... Yuri smiles sadly. Oh, shit. Ryan, during lunchtime, I eat by myself. Did you know that? It's a great time to find a quiet spot and do some reading. In fact, I always have some books with me. You could say I really enjoy reading. Well, that's one way to put it anyway. But books are so full of amazing and inspiring people. People you want to fall in love with. Or perhaps you just know you'd make a really good friend. Cheerful people who always put a smile on your face or deep thinkers and problem solvers who discover the mysteries of life. So when you look at it that way, I'm surrounded by friends every day, you know? And those friends don't laugh at me, they don't tease me for spacing out all the time, they don't make fun of my body type, and, and they don't hate me for acting like I know, I know it all. People say that about you? I'm not a know-it-all, Ryan. It's the opposite, I don't know anything. I don't know how to talk to people. I don't know how to make people see me as normal. I don't know how to make myself happy. I have all these feelings. Let's get a good thumbnail material right there. Alright, I have all these feelings, and all I couldn't do with them is read and write. But it wasn't until now that I started sharing it with you that I really understood what was missing all this time. But I haven't really done anything. You know what? Thank, thank you, Ryan, for being such a fucking asshole. So dumbass in this game. No. Literature Club and I have to go too. Jamie! <laughs> you can't share that in chat. No. That's wrong. Just being patient and respectful? That's really important to me. I know I'm a difficult person, Ryan. And I speak too slowly. I second guess myself all the time. I read too deeply into things. But every time... You've always treated me just like anyone else. It's so rare that I feel comfortable with myself when I talk to others. But that's why every time I talk to you, I just feel really happy. I see. Well, I treat you how I deserve to be treated, Yuri. And if other people don't see it that way, then screw them. I mean, I joined this club hoping I would make friends. And I would say I've had at least one success. Wouldn't you? Um... If you put it that way, yeah, we really are friends now, aren't we? Yuri puts her head in her hands, but this time she's smiling as she does it. Do you want me to show me your poem? Yeah, I do. Let me get it for you. Ooh, part two of Ghosts Are in the Light. 
Uh, the tendrils of my hair illuminate beneath the amber glow, bathing in the distance. A blue-green light flickers. Uh, a lone figure crosses its path, a silhouette obstructing the eerie glow. My heart pounds. The silhouette grows closer, closer. I open my umbrella, casting a shadow to shield me from visibility, but I'm too late. Steps to a street light. I gasp and drop my umbrella. The light flickers. My heart pounds. He raises his arm. Time stops. The only indication of moon is the amber light flickering against his outstretched arm. The flickering light is in rhythm with the pounding of my heart, teasing me from succumbing to this forbidden emotion. Have you ever heard of a ghost feeling warmth before? Giving up on understanding? I laugh. Understanding is overrated. I touch his hand. The flickering stops. Ghosts are blue-green. My heart is amber. Finishing the poem, I start to hand it back to Yuri. Once I've taken it from me, she looks away. Do you dislike it? Uh, no, of course not. I just don't really know how I should respond. Despite Yuri's poems usually being cryptic, it wasn't hard to figure out what this one was about. I, I don't know if I'll be able to explain this one. That's fine. I understand this one. Oh, uh, Yuri's having a hard time speaking than usual. Does this one mean a lot to you? Yuri nods. I'm not really good with words, but... I'm happy that you shared it with me. So thank you. And I hope we can keep spending time together. Despite my ability to make eye contact, I see a faint smile emerge on Yuri's lips. There's a faint smile right there, you can see that in the drawing. I once again tried to hand the poem back to her, but instead Yuri gently takes my hands and pushes them back towards me. I hesitate in response to her warm touch. You can, um, the poem is, once again Yuri fails to form a complete sentence. You mean I can keep it? Yuri nods. I'd love to. Again, Yuri faintly smiles if she doesn't want me to notice. You always, you always make me feel nice. I know I'm not good with people, but I hope that I can return the favor sometimes. Yeah. Don't worry. I think you do a good job. Yuri finally turns back towards me. I guess we should move on before Monica says something. But I'm sure we could talk again later. Yeah. I'm sure we will. With that, Yuri tenderly smiles at me, and I return to my seat so I can put her poem away. But then she's not sharing with anybody else. Rude. We'll share with Monica last today, because she seems to like it. We're going to go cheer up, cheer up Siori. Let's go cheer her up. Hmm, it's nice, I guess. Come on, I can already tell you don't like it. Well, you don't need to worry about what I think. After all, you wrote this for someone else, didn't you? Probably Yuri. Eh! I don't know this for anyone specifically. Maybe. That's not really what I meant, though. But it's okay. You're making new friends, just like I was hoping. That makes me feel really happy. And you're happy too, right? In this club? Well... Of course I am. Good. That is all that matters to me. Thank you, Ryan. Siori, is there something wrong? Huh? No, nothing. I'm just a little tired today. <laughs> Alright. Just tell me if you need anything. I will. Don't worry about me, okay? You can go play with everyone else now. If you insist. Yay! I'm gonna go home a little bit early today. Siori? Tell Monica I wasn't feeling well, okay? I'll see you tomorrow. Before I can say anything else, Siori cheerfully walks out of the classroom home into herself. I don't like the way that sounds. Mm, I'm not digging that. She's weird. Well, we're sure with, we'll share with we'll share that Suki, because Monica always likes our poems, so. What do you got? This one's alright. Alright? Well yeah. I'm about as good as yesterday's anyway. I see what you're going for, but it's not really my style. I mean, that's fine. I'm just mostly glad you're trying a little bit. Well, of course, I'm at least trying. Why are you so emotionally invested in my poems, anyway? Isn't that much more of a compliment to me? Eh! No, no, gross! It's not like I care. It's just that one of us in this club is make sure you're not slacking off. Really? Well, you just ended up scaring me away. That's, um... That's not like you would actually do that. Yeah, you're right. It's kind of fun to hang out here, even if I had to put up with you. Gah! Oh, wait, that was. Wait, did she say that? Yeah, it's kind of fun to hang out here, even if it's put up with you. That, that was me. Go! The suitcase elbows connect with my stomach. Oh? Maybe you won't mind scaring you away after all. I was just joking. Oh, I know. Don't worry, I was too. Ah! <laughs> How the hell do you call it a joke? That seriously hurt. Well, maybe it was funny to her. I guess that's kind of the point. I should have just washed my mouth around the suki. 
Anyway, Suki holds out a poem to me like nothing ever happened. I'll be your beach. Your mind is still full of troubles and fears that diminished your wonder over the years, but today I have a special place, the beach for us to go. Uh, shore reaching beyond your sight, a sea that sparkles brilliant light, the walls in your mind that melt away before the sunny glow. I'll be the beach that washes your worries away. I'll be the beach that you're daydreaming about each day. I'll be the beach that makes your heart leap in a way you thought you long ago. Let's bury your heavy thoughts in a pile of sand, bathe in sunbeams, and hold my hand. Wash your insecurities in the salty sea, and let me see your shine. Let's leave your memories in a footprint trail. Sit free in my windy sail. Remember the reasons you're wonderful when you press your lips to mine. I'll be the beach that washes your worries away. I'll be the beach that you daydream about each day. I'll be the beach that makes your heart leap in the way you thought you had left long ago. But if you left me by your side, your own beach, your own escape, you'll learn to love yourself again. Yeah. I feel like I kept writing about negative things, so I want to write something, a nice message for once. Besides, the beach is awesome. Oh, kind of hard to write anything negative about the beach. So you decided to write the beach first, then came up with the message later. Yeah, well, it's only because of what happened yesterday. I mean, after a year and I realized what kind of wrote, we, we kind of wrote about the same thing. She wanted to pick a topic and have to both write about it or whatever. I see. Someone tells me the poem Yuri showed me about it isn't the one that she plans on sharing with anyone else. Of course, I chose not to mention that to Natsuki. Ugh, you can really see her doing that, too. Making us write about a simple topic and trying to impress me to come up with something all fancy. Well, it's not like I care. I just do it anyway. I mean, I guess mine end up being kind of a metaphorical, too. But there's nothing wrong with doing that once in a while. Just gotta make sure to, make sure to save the game for... At the very least, it was a good practice. It was. Monica, my girl, what's going on? What's poppin'? Hi, Ryan. Have you thought about what you're gonna write or want to submit to perform at the festival? Well, being in this club is one thing, but performing in front of a bunch of people? Now I'll have to give some more thought. Okay, no pressure. But whatever you do, I'm sure it'll turn out great. It'll also make me happy to see. <laughs> anyway, let's take a look at today's poem. Sure. I'll let Monica take the poem I'm holding in my hands. Your style's gotten so refined, Ryan. Yuri's been teaching you a lot of things, hasn't she? Well, I guess so. Yeah, I've been noticing how much time you spend with her. I think I've heard her say more words these past couple days than she's talked about in the whole year. I'm not sure how you did it, but that's pretty impressive. Well, she just needed some patience and a way, and a way to talk about other things in her head, I guess. More thumbnail material right there. Okay. I'm still getting the hang of it myself. Hmm. You're certainly putting in a lot of effort. You must really like her. Uh, that's... Ah! <laughs> Awfully suspicious, you know. Spending a lot of time with her in the club room each day. Reading that edgy novel with her. Well, I just feel bad that she has a hard time socializing. Makes me want to make sure she doesn't spend all of her time alone. Besides, the novel isn't too bad either, you know. Alright, alright. I get you. Just be careful, alright? I know that Yuri isn't used to opening herself up. So if something bad happens while she's vulnerable, then it could be really hard for her. Her books aren't a total escape from reality, they're just a bandage. You say it like I'm gonna hurt her. Sorry, I didn't really mean that. If anything, she might accidentally hurt herself. Anyway, I'll share my poem with you now, alright? Alright. The Lady Who Knows Everything. An old tale of a lady who wanders earth. The lady who knows everything. A beautiful lady who's found every answer, all meaning, all purpose, and all that was ever sought. Here I am, a feather. Lost adrift in the sky, victim to the currents of the wind. Day after day I search, I search with little hope, knowing legends don't exist. But when all else has failed me, when all others have turned away, the legend is all that remains, the last dim star, glimmering in the twi twi sky, twilt sky. <laughs> Until one day the wind ceases to blow, I fall, I fall, and I fall even more. Gentle as a feather, a dry quill, expressionless. But a hand catches me between a thumb and forefinger. The hand of a beautiful lady. I look at her eyes to find no end to her gaze. The lady who knows everything knows what I'm thinking. Before I can speak, she responds in a hollow voice. I have found every answer, all of which amount to nothing. There is no meaning. There is no purpose. And we seek only the impossible. I am not your legend. Your legends do not exist. With the breath, she blows me back afloat. And I pick up a gust of wind. Oh, you know, 
I feel like learning and looking for answers to all sort of things that gave life meaning. Not to get all philosophical or anything, but it's kind of on my mind, so that's what I wrote about. I see. Never really put much thought into it. In a way, it's almost paradoxical. Because if we had all the answers, wouldn't the world start to lose its meaning? You know, there's one thing I noticed. It seems like everyone in the club prefers writing about things that are more sad than happy. <laughs> are you surprised? I mean, if everything was okay, we wouldn't really have anything to write about, would we? Humans aren't two-dimensional creatures. I think you know that better than anyone. You mean one-dimensional? Yeah, that. Anyway, here's Monica's writing tip of the day. Are you ever too shy to share your writing because you're afraid that's not good? It, really dis it can be really disheartening to get lukewarm responses to something you put so much into. But if you find other people who enjoy writing, then sure, it's becoming lots easier. Because instead of just telling you that your writing is good or okay or bad, they want to focus more on everything that went into it and then things you can work on. It's much more encouraging that way and will make you want to continue improving. It's almost like having your own little literature club, don't you think? That's my advice for today. Thanks for listening. Okay, you three. Okay, it's my time to go. We will stop here. And we will return next time for Doki Doki Literature Club. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed, make sure to leave a like. As always, comment down below. Uh, subscribe if you are new. Uh, things are starting to get kind of interesting. Siori is showing a little more character than I initially imagined. Yuri is starting to fall for us, I think, which is which is good, which is what we want. And Monica is always is still falling for us. And Natsuki is not, so that's good because we're not we're not perverts. So yeah, uh, next time on Doki Doki we'll finish this day and we'll also do another day. So it'll be a super long episode, just what everybody wants, right? Haha! -ha! Thanks for watching.